Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here, and I have a super awesome video for you today. I'm gonna show you five of the best free Divi plugins that you can add to your Divi website. Now, you probably know that Divi has a lot of premium plugins, third-party developers creating plugins. There are a lot. I personally have a lot of Divi plugins that my company sells. But not a lot of people talk about the free plugins. And so I'm really excited to show you five of the best free plugins for Divi. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in here. The first one I'm gonna to talk to you about is called Divi Coming Soon. Divi Coming Soon is a maintenance mode under construction coming soon plugin, whatever you wanna call it. So if you are building a website, whether for yourself or for a client, and you don't want anyone seeing while you're building it, right? Until you've done the big unveil and shown it to the client and launched it. You don't want anyone to see it while you're working on it, right? You don't want anyone looking over your shoulder. So what you do is you install this plugin and it's going to redirect all traffic. So if anyone is peeking in on the site, it's gonna just send them to the coming soon page, right? Saying that, hey, the website's not ready yet, it's coming soon, right? You can install this if you're doing some updates, some major uh, software updates or some major changes to the site, right? For example, Apple, dot com yes that apple when they are uh, released releasing new products uh, a lot of times like an hour or so after the big product announcement their store will be down there'll be a coming soon page that says we'll be right back we're updating the, so the store with new uh, new products or whatever and so if the biggest most valuable company in the world <laughs> uses something like this uh, obviously their website's not built on wordpress um, but anyways it's a good thing to use and so um 100 free uh, you just put in your name and email and then uh, get the plugin. And so you build the coming soon page. And then what you do is you tell the plugin, hey, this is where my coming soon page is. And so all the traffic gets redirected there. And the plugin is super lightweight because a lot of, of the other free coming soon under construction plugins out there, what they do is they bloat your website with a lot of unnecessary code with all these little features you can do to uh, create a cool coming soon page. But if you're using Divi, you already have a super powerful page builder. So you don't need all the extra bells and whistles. You just use the page builder that you already know and love to design your page, coming soon page, and then we'll just redirect all the traffic for you in this plugin. So uh, again, this is one of my plugins in case you didn't pick up on that. You can see my face here, uh, but it is 100% free and it's one of our most popular plugins for Divi. So. Um, really, really uh, happy about how this plugin turned out and, and continues to be a really, really good plugin for our customers. The next plugin here is a plugin called Pop-Ups for Divi. It has over 100,000 active installations, uh, 100,000 different websites using this plugin. And as you probably guessed, it allows you to create pop-ups on your Divi website, completely free. And so uh, let me show you the demo here. You can see this is what it looks like. And um, essentially what you do is you install the plugin and it adds a tab to your section and you just toggle and say, yes, this is a pop-up. And then it turns the entire section into a pop-up. And then you t put in a, a pop-up ID and then add this ID to a button if you want it to be click triggered or add it to a link or an image. And then when you click on it, it pops open that entire section as a pop-up. So lots of really cool settings. You can see very basic demo here. Um, it allows you to close on background click, close on other pop-ups. You can use exit intent. So if you don't want it to be click triggered, but want it to pop, pop up when they start to move their mouse towards the, the, uh, the browser toolbar, you can do that, uh, which is completely free. Um, most plugins charge for exit intent, but this feature is completely free. And then um, you can have some other customization options, transparent background, uh, show a loader if you want. Um, so all of that is, in, is uh, available in the free version, which is really cool. And then um, the pro version, Divi Areas Pro, it's like the pro version of pop-ups for Divi, but it's really so much more than that because um, it allows you to do pop-ups time delay pop-ups, scroll delay pop-ups, uh, but allows you to also do things like fly-ins, uh, hover pop-ups, mega menus, conditional inline content. It becomes a full-blown content layout injector, which is really cool. Show you some of the demos here. So traditional pop-up, 
a fly in. You can do uh, hover areas, right? Which is like a mega menu uh, inline area. So this is where you can like inject content. So you can really take a, a, a Divi layout and, and inject it anywhere on the page, which is really cool. So you can use it for like ads or promos or anything like that. Uh, so super, super powerful. This is again, the pro version. This version does cost money, um, but the free version pop us for Divi 100% free uh, and super powerful. Uh, the next plug plugin is Divi library short codes. Now this plugin, uh, it's kind of confusing to explain, but what it does is it gives you, it generates a short code for everything in your Divi library. And so what you can do is take Divi library layouts and put them anywhere on your site, places where you normally don't have access to the Divi builder. For example, you can take, have modules within modules. So for example, like a lot of uh, Divi modules, like the slider module, right? Or the, the toggle module, the accordion module, or the tabs module. It's a really cool module, but the content in the tab, all you have access to is the editor here, the text editor, right? The WYSIWYG editor. And so it can be really limiting when you're trying to add a cool design into a tab and all you can do is add text, right? Well, this changes that and allows you to take an entire Divi layout with, col with columns and images and design and put it inside of that tab or that accordion or whatever. So let me show you. Um, the demo here, the demo, I already had it open. Um, so here is the tabs module with pricing tables, which normally you can't do. So we can, we have a two different, we have a monthly pricing table layout and a yearly pricing table layout. And we've copied and pasted them into the tabs module. See our coaches. So this is the person module, four column layout inside a toggle. And then like a restaurant menu, again, normally inside tabs like this, all I have is text, but now we can put columns, with images, and blurbs, and make it really cool looking. And so uh, that's Divi library shortcuts. Now, one thing I want to mention is this works with Divi 5, it works with Divi 4, it doesn't matter. And so no matter what version of Divi you're using, this is gonna work. There's some confusion there on whether or not shortcodes will work in Divi 5 because one of the benefits of Divi 5 is they're getting a rid, rid of the shortcode foundation. Divi was originally built on the backbone of shortcodes. And so that was the, the mechanism, the storage facility of how the plugin was built and how it parses data. Well, with Divi 5, they're getting away from that and going to a more modern format, but people think that means that short codes won't work in Divi 5. It's not true. This will still work. Short codes will work from other plugins. It's just that Divi itself is no longer based on short codes, which is a good thing. But short codes are great. They're not going anywhere in WordPress. This plugin's not going anywhere. So no matter what version of Divi you're using, this will work great. The next uh, plugin, uh, free plugin, is the Divi Image Hover Module. Now, this is a module, let me just show you the demo here. So it allows you to create really cool hover effects, has dozens of effects built in. It's pure CSS, which means it's not gonna slow down your site, no JavaScript, it's very fast. So one thing I don't like about this is it only gives you title and text, doesn't give you the ability to add a button. So you could add a button with like CSS, but if you needed more and more control, there's another version or, no, or another plugin with the same name, um, but completely different plugin uh, over on the Divi Marketplace called Divi Image Hover. Um, 49 bucks, but it's gonna give you a lot more power, a lot more animation options, a lot more ability to add buttons. Um, and so if you need more, uh, might be worth getting a different this other version here, which has a lot more stuff to it. So lots of different effects. So everything, by the way, is linked in the description for the video. 
uh, and so you can check everything out uh, in the description. The next plugin is Divi Carousel or Carousel for Divi. Um, this is completely free, obviously. It has uh, about a thousand active installations, so it's not a super popular plugin, but it's basically a carousel maker for Divi. So rather than being like a module, it allows you to create anything you want on the page and then turn it into a carousel using uh, some CSS classes. So super powerful. You can see here, here's an image gallery. Here's blog. Right, and you can have as many items as you want in the carousel. So really cool. Um, if you don't want to install a plugin though, I actually have a tutorial, how to create a Divi carousel without a plugin. This is one of my most popular tutorials. And it allows you, it's basically the same thing as this, which allows you to turn any Divi content into a carousel. Um, it just does it without installing a plugin. And so everything is self-contained on the page. So it's not gonna, the code's not gonna get loaded across every page like a, a plugin version will. And so, um, and for example, you can also download this layout for free um, and every you just import it to your site and it's a ready-made carousel. Everything is self-contained in the layout, the carousel code. Um, and so if you wanna have a carousel on your site, but you don't want to install a plugin, then this is definitely the way to go. I'll link to this as well. Now, shameless plug here, uh, my company, Divi Life, we have an all access pass membership, which gives you access to all of our plugins. Uh, we have over 21 plugins, 39 child themes, over a thousand Divi layouts, a bunch of e-commerce products. And so everything is included in our all access pass membership. Um, I'm not gonna go through and tell you about everything. You can go and look yourself, but I'll link to that there. This is definitely the best value, uh, best toolkit for Divi uh, to get access to everything you need to create amazing websites for Divi. Hopefully you found this video helpful though uh, with the five free Divi plugins that you can download today 100% for free. And uh, if you have any uh, questions, put them in the comments. I'm happy to answer those for you. And then another thing too, is if, if you're new to Divi or new to WordPress or whatever, subscribe to my channel because I am going to be pumping out new videos, new content, beginner videos, intermediate videos, even some advanced stuff. So no matter where you are in your WordPress and Divi journey, definitely subscribe to my channel so you can get notified. So yeah, you subscribe and then you click the bell icon uh, to get notified um, when I create new videos. So um, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Take care, bye-bye.